Welcome to the most distracting video you'll probably watch on my channel today. If you start whining, I'm just, I'm gonna give up. It's coming. Yep. 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 One time for those in the back. A little bit louder. I wonder how long it's gonna take me to give up. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Okay, so we're good. Let's go. Today's video is a tag video that I was tagged in by my friend Paula, who is a beauty guru. Made me do it. I will link the video that she did as well as her channel in the box below. But what this is is ten questions of makeup palettes. You guessed. It's gonna be about makeup, right? And what I've actually got going on in the stack to me over here is a stack and I went through with post-its so I don't have to look at questions. I can literally grab and be like, number one, best packaging. So that's what we're doing here. So without further ado, let's get started and let's see how we feel about some stuff. Also, I am tagging some people and doing the same exact video and if you're watching this and you're not tagged, consider yourself tagged because sharing is caring. The beauty community is all about being a part of a community. I forgot. Drop some post-its. Uh -oh. Would it be better if I zoom out so you can see this madness? <laughs> now look at what I'm dealing with. Stops being entertaining. <laughs> okay. You sitting like a lady at the bar. What are you doing? Take 50. Number one, best packaging. Paula actually said this in her video and I'm totally going with the same thing. This is the Dose of Colors, the girls palette. Inside and out, the fact that this is glitter that doesn't go anywhere, it's just fabric wrapped is delightful. This is such a pretty little thing to pull out and the colors inside. I mean, it is cardboard at the end of the day. It is kind of like a paper, like a foil paper wrap, but these colors are delightful. They really are. Two of them are to be used wet, two of them be used dry, but like the payoff that you get is just really, is stunna. And I'm like, I'm swatching the worst, worst way possible, but this is my number one best packaging. Dose of colors. The Desi and Katie collaboration, delightful. One down, nine to go. Number two, best color payoff. I'm sorry about these post-its, I don't know why I'm doing that. My Natasha Denona star palette. Now, you've probably seen, if you've watched any of my videos before, my star palette's a little rearranged. So I've got stuff that's not traditional to a star palette, but you can see kind of the blues, the yellows, some of these terracotta shades, even some of the basics, like this shade in the corner, this is Shell, it's from the Green Brown 28 PM palette, as well as this is Indian Gold from the 28 Green Brown palette, like literally the two, my two favorite shades on the planet, and they're very neutral. <laughs> Best color payoff, hands down, the mattes and the shimmers that I put together in this little palette, are my favorites, for sure. Number three, the most versatile. This is gonna turn into a very weird situation with these post-its. I picked this for very obvious reasons. This is a literal box of crayons. This is every shade of the rainbow. So, you know, as far as versatility goes, this is gonna give you everything that you really want. Anybody that's starting out with playing with eyeshadow and you want to get the most bang for your buck, best variety of coloring, this is a really good buy. So, good quality. 100% did not really think this through as to like where I'm going to stack stuff because it's just like an empty void in front of me as to where this chair usually physically sits. Hold on, hold on. Number four, the best traveler. Anybody gonna guess what I'm gonna say? Yeah. 
princess queen. Um, I've been going back and forth to New Orleans constantly lately. I've taken this a lot with me and I've, I've recently shelved it just to play with some other things. But as far as variety goes, there's some categories that I'm gonna tell you like um, most loved, most used in a desert island pig. And man, it is very hard for me to not wanna use this for every single one. If you watched the last palette tag video I did, I really, I referenced this almost every single number except for the things that I didn't like. So if this is still available, you guys, I, I don't want to tell you to buy something because I don't want to be that person, but I'm really impressed with this palette and I really like it. I'm going to continue to always pull for it. So there's that thought. Biggest regret. Now, when Paula did this, she did this in two ways where it was like what you regretted purchasing and then what we purchased that we definitely regret. And I definitely got the giggles when she pulled out not one, but two blush palettes. God bless you. I think that was the best thing I've ever watched. But can you guys guess what I'm about to say? This, this Mama Jamma. I, I, I've complained about this already in a few videos. This is very untouched. Smell, still smells very peachy. There's nothing wrong with this palette. It's just everything about it. It's just not me. I'm not a fan of it. It's Fifty Shades of Brown. Or 18 Shades of Brown. I just, I regret spending my money on this. I was really, I just got into the hype of this coming out and I got something in every element of the collection like the Papa Don't Peach blush, the, the face palette, and I've returned all that stuff. It was just a waste. What do you think? You'll eat anything. Number six. The best color names. This was so easy to me. This was the, the easiest pick for me because when I thought of the funniest color names or the best color names, I immediately thought of this. This is my Violet Boss Holy Grail palette. I love this palette. Like this thing has gotten some major love. I mean, it's 50 shades of beige and red, but let's just, let's just go through a couple of these. Ploof, is that a word? It is now. Thanks a latte. Hashtag, how you doing? Cause I'm a Wendy Williams fan. On fleek, wine and dine. Are you kidding me? Does that not just sound like literally something I would say? Cause it's something I actually do say quite often. Cool beans, brownie points. Awesome sauce. So jelly. I mean, I could keep going cause there's 25 shades in here, but there's 20 shades in here, I can't count. I really like the shades names and this goes without saying for all the Violet Voss palettes like all their names are just silly I, whoever's naming shades at Violet Voss like keep on keeping on because it's it's definitely entertaining oh no this is getting out of control number seven the least used things that I have Now, this is gonna be a little weird because there's something that's panned in here, but let's talk about it. These are my ink lot shadows. I'm just not using them like I should. This is 10, these are all metallic shimmer shades. I mean, they're beautiful. I'm just not using them like I should. I'm not pulling for them like I should. And this is mostly mattes let's see these are all mattes all th no 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 these are all three mattes and nothing's getting used this and this these are the same shades i've been using this as a blush for like eons eons i've gone through i don't know how many pans of this and this is the same thing so it's a backup this is about to be hitting pan pan other than that some of these have barely gotten anywhere whatsoever um, these are some metallic shades. This shade right here specifically, I was like ride or die for a highlight, like forever and a day. I just don't wear it anymore. I don't know. So these are very unused and it's unfortunate, but they are great. That's kind of a bummer thought. Number eight, most used. 
I'm gonna hurt myself, keep doing that. I've got two palettes here that are most used. Bing. This is the Shade and Light Contour Palette. I've hit pan on two of these. I use all three of these. I still pull for this quite often. I'm glad that these are all available individually in magnetic shades so I can just put something into a Z palette going forward because ever since the day I bought this, I still pull it out at least three, four times a week and I really enjoy it. So that's number one. And then number two, this would be the original, um, I don't need to open the lid, do I? This is the original rose gold textured eyeshadow palette Textured Eyeshadow Palette Rose Gold Edition from Huda Booty. Uh, I got this before it was available at Sephora. There were a couple stores in Houston that got these before the original launch date, like in September 2016, maybe. But uh, the Rose Gold Texture Shade I've hit pan on and I mushed it back around. And it doesn't look like it's panned like the other guy, but this was something that for a solid four or five months, was the only thing I was using, period. And I was working all over this palette. This black is probably one of my favorite blacks out of all the black shadows that I have. It's really impressive. It works great wet. It works great with Duraline. Yada, 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 et cetera, et cetera. We're almost to the end. Number nine, most loved. So I've got two palettes here as well. This one's gonna be a, a no-brainer. This is the Dose of Colors Baked Browns, and I gotta be careful with this because I had a broken pan recently, and I had to repress it. But this, as well as the Marvelous Mobs, and I didn't wanna pull every single five pan Dose Colors out, but I really love these. The quality is, is so surreal, so surreal. So, it's something I love and I'll continue to use, and this, surprisingly enough, I used a lot during, um, Halloween, I say Halloween, during October and November, because once you hit Halloween and you're doing face painting, you really don't want to stop on November 1st, and, and you don't stop. So I would use this for like facial contouring to create like a skull or whatnot. And I've been itching to want to do that a lot lately, so I'm probably gonna have a February slash March face painting extravaganza kind of coming up, you know, because I have no self-control. The other one for most loved is this guy. The Master Palette by Mario. I've used this a lot, and I love pulling this out just for individual shades to use. But all of these, the only issue with this is that they are so pigmented and so delightful. A smidgen goes a long way, so for me to be able to pan this, I don't wanna pan it because literally they're not, these don't exist anymore. But I love this, I love all the colors in this. It's so cohesive for just that delightful, look like it very classy makeup looks come from this palette oh god my sidekick just saw a bird out the window number 10 my desert island pick because i've been working through it so much lately for a review i just did i would take this with me this is the latte palette by uh kristen dominique or dominique cosmetics uh, but you've got these three amazing shades these shimmer shades they i've used two of them as facial highlights constantly and they're beautiful they really are and everything else in here blends really well there's no patchiness to it and there's a lot of versatility that you can get from those so i would take this and i also don't need black eyeshadow and a palette to survive in life so i think this is great especially for the desert you know you're gonna be pulling a lot of beachy looks it's silly isn't it so that's my 10 questions of my perfect palettes. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'd like to show you real quick my bird dog. <laughs> so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.